What shall we call him? By Prophet Nobu Drew Ali. So often, our various journalists find trouble in selecting the proper name for the Moorish American. Some say Negro, another will brand him Race Man, still another will call him Afro American, and then come Colored, Dark American, Coon, Shine, the Brethren, and your folks. It is indeed a hard matter to find something suitable for the various occasions where a title needs to be used. Is it that these people have no proper name? Did they have a national name when first brought to these shores in the early part of the 17th century? If so, what was it? Did not the land from which they were forced have a name? It now appears a good idea for those whose duty it is to write for the various journals to find out what the national name of the forefathers of these people was. Also, look into the history of the founders of civilization and see who they were and where they stood in the building of the present civilization. Probably two hours in an up-to-date library would serve to relieve the strain on our men of letters when the occasion presents itself for a title for these people. The matter of the various names given to these 22 million people with all colors of every race of the globe was an act of European psychology. They gave him a name, then defined it as something inferior to theirs. White, they defined as a color of purity. Black, they say, represents everything of evil. The Negro, as they were called in this nation, have no nation to which they might look with pride. Their history starts with the close of the Civil War, or more properly, with his being forced to serve someone else. Thus he is separated from the illustrious history of his forefathers, who were the founders of the first civilization of the old world. This matter should be looked into with the hope of correcting it.